In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get streak-free windows in your vehicle. Now, this is gonna be both for your windows and glass and mirrors inside of your vehicle. Uh, there's a plenty of methods you can go after. I just found one that works for me. So I'm gonna show you the tools and products that I use, obviously the methods that I use, and then just different scenarios and what you might encounter when you're cleaning your vehicle or if you're doing this as a business and you're working on different vehicles on a daily basis. Now, if you wanna check the description box down below, I have the links to all the tools and products that I use and a quick recap of the methods that I use to clean the windows and glass. I am an affiliate for Amazon, so I do get a small commission if you purchase through my links, but those are the exact tools and products that I use. Don't mind the background here because I removed everything out of my van because I have to reorganize and clean up the van, so that's why I have all my tools and products out. So let's go ahead and get straight into this video. So let's first start off with the primary tool I'm gonna to be using, and those are gonna be towels. Now, there are specific uh, waffle weave towels that you can use for glass and mirrors and drying, which work great for mirrors and glass. But in this scenario, in the method that I use, I can also just use regular plain Jane microfiber, quality microfiber towels. So you're gonna need, so right now, for this example, I'm not gonna use the waffle, t waffle weave towels just because that requires you to get as like a specific towel. And these aren't the most, these aren't cheap by any means, I think. It's been a while since I last purchased them, but I'm, I'm not gonna use these just because I assume most people aren't gonna wanna buy a specific towel just for this and it's kind of pricey, I think. So I'll stick with the microfiber towels in this example. So you're gonna need three specific micro microfiber towels. One is just a workhorse microfiber towel, meaning this is gonna be the initial towel you use to wipe off all the gunk off the towel. This one specifically, I think I bought so many years ago on like from Chemical Guys. Uh, so there's nothing, with the first towel, doesn't really matter in terms of quality. Like whether you go to AutoZone and buy like a, those super cheap towels or use like a much higher quality towel, it doesn't really matter. Cause this, the primary towel, this one's gonna get, the, it's gonna be the most wet and it's gonna have the most gunk on it. Cause it's the primary uh, towel to remove just the gunk. We're not worried about streak free. We're not worried about clarity. We just wanna get the gunk off with this towel. The second towel you use, it's gonna be, it's gonna be slightly damped. So this one's gonna be really damped. The second towel is gonna to be slightly damped throughout the duration of, your, of you cleaning the, the, uh, the, um, the glass and mirrors. Now, we always wanna use the short nap side. We don't wanna use the plush side. So as you can see here, there's the plush side and then there's the short nap side. We're always gonna be using the short nap side. And then the third towel, which these are Kirkland signature towels. Uh, I uh, was told that you can buy them at Costco or Sam's. I buy them online on Amazon for like 29 bucks for like 30, whatever, how many uh, towels. Um, but you can also check your local store to see if you can get them cheaper. I think they are cheaper locally as what people are saying. But I buy these uh, on Amazon, uh, 29 bucks. And then this one, I, I mean, I think this is from Chemical Guys. I, I mean, I probably bought this one years ago. So I'm, and I'm using this for, so the first one doesn't really matter. Just use a towel just to get the, but don't use a terry cloth. Do not use a terry cloth towel. So the third towel you're gonna use, which is the same as these two, the third towel you're gonna use is, again, the short nap side, except you're not gonna get it wet. This is gonna be, remain, uh, at least 95% dry the entire time. So your first towel to get most of the gunk off is gonna be really wet, or at least damp. Then your second towel is gonna be slightly damped. And then your third towel is going to remain 95% dry. Next, let's move on to the actual window cleaner. Now there's, again, with just, just about anything in the detailing industry, there's gonna be dozens and dozens of different alternatives to a specific product. So I specifically use Optimum No Rinse diluted as a clay loop for my window cleaner and my glass cleaner. Super simple, super basic. It, this is literally just clay lube and I use it to clean glass. It keeps things simple. I don't need to carry another product or tool. It gets the job done. I know there's window specific cleaners. I know people use carport race. There's so many things you can use. This is what I use. It works great for me. Now there are times where there's just like a lot of gunk on like whether like there's dog drool, there's baby drool, there's food, there's like some other stuff that comes out of your face. Uh, then I will use um, an all-purpose cleaner. Now this is a Meguiar's uh, all-purpose cleaner bottle, but this is actually super clean in it, super clean. Um, so sometimes, not very often, like very, very little do I sometimes just start off with APC just to wipe it down. Most of the time I'm using the Optimum No Rinse diluted as a clay loop, but sometimes every now and then it's just like really bad. I'll just give it a quick, a quick spray with this and then wipe it down. But most of the time I am using Optimum No Rinse as the window and glass cleaner. So I am a mobile detailer. I'm out on the field, in the sun, in the baking hot sun about 95% of the time. So my hands are always, 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 always sweating when I'm out, like there's, just, there's nothing you can do about it. Like as soon as you step outside and start working, you're drenched, in, you're drenched in sweat. So an important part is to always keep, the, keep those towels clean. 
one being when you when you when you wash them when you're going to use them they have to be clean like you can't have like sweat on them you can't have apc on them because that's going to smear and you need those towels super clean again primarily the second and third towel the first one it doesn't matter the second and third one is, is where you want to get more more um sensitive with those towels so you also need again for my in my experience and what i'm doing and what i've done is you have to have gloves on you because if you're working outside and your hands are sweaty once you flip those towels to get to use like different sides of that towel, you're transferring that sweat onto the towel. And then when you're gonna try and have a streak-free glass or mirror or window, then you're gonna have some of that sweat transferred onto the towel and then that, that towel transfers it over to the surface that you're working on. So you, I always put on gloves before I start window cleaning. That way, this never gets sweaty and this always stays dry and I only touch the towels. Like if, a lot of times when I'm working on, on a mobile job, I'm cleaning a window, uh, uh, whatever I'm cleaning the interior and then my arm will touch a certain part of the interior and sweat will get on the interior So instead of me using the window towel to wipe it down I'll use a completely separate towel to wipe down that sweat that way I don't have any cross-contamination between the, the the clean towels that are meant for the glass or mirror um, and uh, The towel that's gonna clean up the sweat So I always wear gloves to make sure that the towels that I'm working with cleaning the windows and glass are gonna be clean and not gonna have any transfer between like dirt or my sweat or anything else that I'm touching. That's a very key important part into this. Uh, is make sure your hands are clean. Again, if you're working in a shop environment, you don't have to deal with that. Like you're in AC, you have nice lighting. Um, but me in the mobile job, I always, always, always put on gloves when I'm working. And yes, when I do put on gloves, I mean, my hands immediately start to sweat and get like nasty just because, it, I mean, it's so hot outside. But to clean towels, you absolutely need gloves as well. So as a recap, it's gonna be, you need gloves. You need a window cleaner, I use Optimum No Rinse, diluted as a clay loop, and you're gonna need three separate towels. And a few things before we get started on the actual process is that your environment really matters on how easy or difficult or just annoying it's gonna be to clean windows and glass. It's, I mean, that's probably one of the most annoying parts of being a detailer is from, you know, from most people that I talk to is that cleaning windows and glass is always a pain. So don't think you're just gonna go in there a quick one minute and clean all the windows and glass if you're trying to get it streak free. And if you're really doing this as a business, because if you're doing it for yourself, I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, you do it for so long and then you get tired and you're like, ah, whatever. But if you're doing this, you know, as a business and you have customers paying for you to do this, then it's a little bit of a, of a different story. So um, if you're like in a dead heat sun, like I am most of the time, uh, it's very frustrating because the interior gets hot. If you touch a panel, you, first of all, you're already sweating. You touch a panel, the, the, the panel gets uh, sweaty, then you gotta clean that up. Um, and then like, as you're in the car, you're like just baking in uh, and then as you're touching the glass, the glass is super hot, so the, the product dries a lot quicker and then the towel gets caught more because it's so dry and there's more friction between the glass and the, um, and the towel. So if you're working in a hot environment or outside or your car's hot, it's gonna be a bit more difficult because just things aren't, you know, as far as conditions go, things aren't in your favor. Um, and if you're doing this as a business, just really expect that. Now, if you're in a shop setting, if you're in a garage, uh, you have a completely different ball game. It's so much easier if you're like an AC or even just in a garage setting with no AC, but you're in shade. Um, the car's not gonna be hot. You can have better lighting to see um, if there's any streaks or anything. So definitely, if you're outside, expect to be a bit more difficult compared to like if you're in a shop or like in a more controlled environment. And when it comes to checking your work, the best and just about the only way you should do it is to actually bring it out into the sun and inspect it in different angles. That's me like looking up, looking down, looking side, looking to diagonal, because that's gonna be the absolute best way to check if you have a streak-free windows. For instance, you can wipe down the front or the, or, or the, or the back side of the, of the front windshield and it'll look great and you can like pan through it, you can take a photo and it'll look great. But once you pull it out to the sun or you look at it from a different angle, you'll see like a haze to, to the windshield in certain areas. Um, and that's just, that's, it's, it's not, you know, again, it's not gonna be as easy as you think as, as getting streak-free windows on your glass, especially the, uh, on the type of vehicle that you have, whether it's big or small or the dashboard is really high and it's hard to reach your hand. Um, just, there's a quite a few factors. Again, it's not rocket science, but it is, that's probably one of the more annoying parts of cleaning an interior or a vehicle, just getting the, the glass streak free. So this is technically just gonna be the wash process. So always make sure that like, if you're gonna wash the vehicle, you wash the vehicle, uh, whatever the case may be. But so this isn't a part of the process. This is just like step one is to first just wash the vehicle first, which is gonna include the glass. So make sure you get that done first. So again, I'm just using my own R diluted as a clay loop and I'm just wiping it down. This would be technically the wash process part. So I'm just getting the initial gunk off of it. Like, again, like if this is just a car wash, this is, this is the part, like, I'm still not going for perfect. I mean, yeah, I'm not starting the process yet. And I'm only gonna do half the windshield. 
Okay, there. So I'm not going for anything crazy. I just wanted to wipe it down. Get all this gunk out of here. Okay, so it looks clean. It's absolutely not. So okay, so I washed. I so I washed the um, the front windshield, right? And I think there is some type of. If you hear, I think there is some uh, some some paint or spray on this. So I'm first gonna clay it. If you hear that. So first, I'm gonna use my uh, again Ultima No Rinse. I'm gonna spray my clay mitt a little bit. So you gotta have a clean surface to work with in terms of like making sure there's no stuck on uh, contaminants to it. So I'm gonna see if this removes it, it should. Okay, so now that's clean. We have the front windshield washed, washed, uh, clayed to remove any uh, uh, contaminants on it, any stuck on the contaminants. So now let's actually move on to the actual window cleaning process. Okay, I went ahead and just cleaned the, the hood a little bit so the, the towels don't get any dirt on it. So, first things first is we're gonna take our first initial towel. And we can either, we, you wanna spray it into the towel because once you clean one side, like if we spray it here, right? Doing first half of the windshield, that's fine. But if you do the other half, then that means you're gonna get overspray over here. So it's best just to spray it onto the towel itself. And here, we're not going for perfection. We don't want any, like we're not, our main goal is just to get most of this gunk off, if there's any gunk off. So we're just gonna give it a light wipe or however, again, if it's really caked on, you know, make sure you get most of the gunk off. And then we're gonna flip the towel to the dry side. So this is the part we use that's wet. We're gonna flip it to the dry side and just buff off real quick. Again, not going for anything uh, crazy right now. So now you need to, I didn't, you need to make a mental note of, so like I'm, I'm using two yellow towels, right? One is gonna be the lightly damped, the other one is gonna be completely dry. So you need to make a mental note of like how you're, how you're placing it on the like, is this one always gonna stay here on the right side to be the dry towel? Is this one always gonna be the left side to be the dry towel? Are you gonna, make sure you make a mental note of like which one's gonna be the dry and which is gonna be the, um, the lightly damped one. That way you don't do the light, lightly damped one then you pick up the dry one thinking, you know, so make sure you identify which one's gonna be which. So now that we have the initial gunk taken off, we're gonna just slightly spray uh, onto the uh, damp towel and always spray facing away from the vehicle, but I'm gonna do it over the vehicle, that way you guys can see, but always spray away from the glass, that way you don't get any overspray on the vehicle or the glass. I'm just doing it here for demonstrational purposes because I did get overspray on the hood here. So now we're gonna uh, use a lightly damp side to just, again, give it a nice wipe down. And then after we do this, super simple, we're gonna flip again and buff off one more time. Make sure you get everything. And you don't wanna to put too much pressure, uh, just because, I mean, I don't know if this is just like, if this is just me or something, but if you put too much pressure Whereas like if you just evenly distribute it and just lightly go over the, the, the windshield, that's a better method than putting down a lot of down pressure where your fingerprints actually show. Um, is there anything like specific or, I, I just, in my experience, I feel like if you put too much down pressure, you're using too much of this and like that's, that in itself is gonna create streaks because when you're putting all this down pressure down, you're forming more, um, like more pressure on obviously your hand and if you have a lot of liquid there, then that's gonna transfer more to the windshield. So. I don't know how true that is. That just what I kind of feel is right. So don't put that much down pressure on the towel. So, all right, we've done the initial towel. We've done the second pass. So now you need to inspect the windshield and see if there's any streaks. Now, an important thing to keep in mind is that you gotta have both the front windshield and the back of the windshield, the, the back side of the windshield, clean in order to see if you have a fully a streak-free glass window. So even though I would do the final wipe down with this towel, I'm not gonna honestly know if it's streak-free until I clean the back side of this windshield as well. So, um, so I'm gonna do the final wipe down. Again, this one stays completely dry, and it's just as simple as it sounds. A final wipe down, no hard down pressure, just lightly wiping it down one last time. And flip it just because that's what we do with the towel.
there. So I, I've, I've now done the whole three step process. Now, if you're just doing an, in, like an exterior job, then honestly, regardless if you do this entire process, if you don't clean the backside, it's, you're not gonna know if it's a street free window. So uh, if you're doing this as a business, I wouldn't worry about having streak free glass windows if they're only paying you for the exterior and nothing on the interior, right? Of, like, you can't give away your time and skills away for free. So if they're only paying for the exterior, you're not gonna achieve a crystal clear window, windows unless you're also gonna do the backside of the interior as well. And that applies for all the windows. So you can do as much as you want on the outside, but if you're not doing any work on the inside or vice versa, if you're just doing the interior and they're not paying you for any exterior work or you didn't include that in your pricing or your service, then you're not gonna get crystal clear windows. So uh, just keep that in mind. You can't just clean the front part of the, of the glass and then expect it to be crystal clear when the inside is, is, is dirty. And you can't clean the inside thinking you have streak free windows if the outside isn't clean. So um, if, if you wanna do both sides, make sure you're getting paid for it and you include that in the service and you know everything is crystal clear on what's gonna take place. If they're only paying you for the interior, then you can do the interior, but the exterior is gonna stay as is. Okay, so we wiped it down, right? Now we have to clean the back side of this to make sure we're, we're crystal clear on this side. But all right, so now let's move on to the interior. Hopefully you have a decent view from here. So again, when it comes to cleaning the interior, if you're working outside in the sun, as you're trying to clean the interior, like I'm sweating right now, right? As I'm trying to clean this, a lot of times this, my hand, my arm is gonna come down here and touch the door dashboard and then it's gonna get sweat all over here. If that happens, I'm not gonna use any of the three towels that I'm using to wipe that off. I'm gonna use a separate towel. Um, also, when, it, when you're cleaning the, the, the windshield, make sure your arm doesn't touch the glass. You don't know how many times I've cleaned like a streak-free windshield on both sides and then as I'm trying to like, do some last minute, touch, last second touches, I like I overextend and then my arm touches the glass and then I have a smear of of of, gla of, uh, of sweat and then I got to do the entire process again just to get that one spot out. So um, yeah, just be very uh, mindful like where your arm is. Uh, it's gonna happen, but just be mindful like okay, I don't want sweat on my windshield and don't want to you know I want to minimize the 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 how much sweat I put on on the uh, on the interior because again I'm mentioning that because if you're working in the outside. Just like yesterday, I, I mean, the interior, it was 102 degrees outside, or it felt like 102 degrees outside. Um, so as soon as my arm would touch the, the dashboard, the sweat would start drying up because the interior was like baking hot the entire time. So uh, just something to be mindful of. Okay, and this is just an after. Now, this windshield is actually really, really, really weird. Uh, as you can tell there, like, this side, I, I did wipe it down once to like, you know, to, so it could be even, like I did wash it down. Uh, so there's no layer of, 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 of dust on it. So it is like a, a, a fair comparison between what hasn't been touched and what has been cleaned. Um, so this, like, I don't know if you have, but there's a bunch of smears in this on the inside and out. And then, no, it again, you always want to look in different directions. Now, to be honest, this windshield is very, 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 very messed up. Um, I don't know, like, I don't know how good it's catching, but it looks like there's overspray on the inside as well. Or, I mean, honestly, I'm not entirely sure why it's so messed up like this. Um, and I don't, I don't know how good it's catching on camera, but I mean, you can clearly tell like it, there's like a still a huge uh, haste to everything. So I, I think um, actually, I'm not entirely sure what it is, but. That's also another point, another thing I want to point out, like these windshield wipers, when they go, you know, obviously when you turn them on and stuff, uh, after so long, they'll start creating scratches on the, on the windshield itself. So, um, you know, make sure, uh, know what, you, you know, understand what you're looking at. Um, are you going to be able to remove the scratches from these windshields over like the last 10 years by just trying to clean the glass? Absolutely not. That's, that's not realistic. Can you polish those out? Perhaps, but that, you're not gonna fix those scratches, which might look like 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 uh, streaks or hazing on the windshield because like this has been like worn out for the last you know two years and over the last five years it's been like just dragging on the on the windshield. So you also be very mindful of like okay, what's realistic here? Like this windshield is just it's just it's hammered. Like it's it's not it's not just dirty. Like there's more to it than just it being dirty right here. I mean there's still overspray on there, and I think there's some beneath the windshield itself. 
like on the inside as well. So like, yes, I I did clear up the the, the like look like, like yes the the smears and the smudges like look yes that's all off for sure. Like my part of what I can do as a detailer is off. What what other junk is I'm not entirely sure. Um, and that's you'll run into that if you're doing this as a business. Like there's some vehicles that just been so mistreated, have not been taken care of, that you'll you'll run into that. Um, so when you're out here, you need to inspect it in all different directions. You have to pull it out to the sun and get that reflection from the windshield in different angles to see if it really is streak free. Remember, the glass is just gonna be like anything else on the vehicle. Some vehicles are gonna be better treated in better condition. Others are gonna just, for whatever reason, are gonna be in worse condition. Uh, are you as a detailer gonna fix every single last problem without being properly compensated for it? Of course not. You can, you know, you can go the extra mile at times. Um, but a lot of times, if you're doing this as a business, I mean, you have to be compensated. So if, if you're gonna, if you want to do both sides, if you want completely streak-free glass and windows and mirrors, you have to make sure that you are charging that for the customer to free do the extra work. Because then, I mean, it, it, it doesn't. It takes a while to do both those things. Like it, it, it's not just like a quick one-minute pass. Um, if you're truly trying to go for streak-free windows, at least in my experience, again, that's that's what I've used. There's plenty of other methods that just. That's what's worked for me in this instance. Um, but you are gonna find those different vehicles that just, the windshield is just, the, the wipers, the, there's just gunk on it, or however long, someone scratch, whatever the case may be, it's not always gonna come out 110% perfect. That's just unrealistic, unless it's like a brand new car and you know the windshield is like super fresh and clean and hasn't been touched. So when it comes to both the mirrors and the, and the other glass, it's essentially the exact same process, um, except with, the, with this, you can get away with just one glass towel for the most part because it's it's so small, it actually doesn't require that much work. So for instance, um, I'll spray into the towel, right? And then this with one hand, so please excuse the shakiness. And then you'll wipe it down, right? And get all the edges. So just kind of put the towel in your in the in your on your finger and just work the edges. And then once you do that, flip it to a dry side buff off and bada beam it could be better had i have two hands working um now if it's really caked on again sometimes you just want to like again sometimes you can use one towel sometimes you might need you might need two uh just depending on the severity of the condition uh so it's definitely going to be like a per you know per case basis um and it's, again it's kind of difficult doing it with one hand but then there we go nice and clean uh how much better do you want to get? That's as good as it, as, as it'll get. And that wraps up this video on cleaning the windows, glass, and mirrors. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, leave those in the comment section down below. Again, you can also check the description box down below for all the links to the product that I use and as a quick recap of the method to clean these windows and glass. Hopefully you get better at cleaning those windshields because they are a pain in the rear. I'll see you on the next one.